Hello everyone, this is my breakdown video on how to pass my 345 skill card challenge. We're going to be shooting this both with duty gear and from AIWB concealment. The first string of fire, which is five rounds to the center circle, is the easiest of the four. The key points for passing this string of fire clean all have to do with the draw. If you make sure and get a proper grip with both the shooting hand and the support hand on the draw, and then confirm your sights enough at the end of the draw stroke, you can shoot predictively and get all five rounds in the circle well under the time limit. If you'll notice, the draw is not particularly fast, but the splits are just over 0.3, which isn't terribly fast, but it's pretty fast for a three in circle at five yards. It really is all about confirmation of the grip and the sights on your draw. String two is our transition string. This one is a bit harder than the first string. And the important points here are that you have to shoot it predictively to make it in the time. In other words, I am breaking my shot as the dot comes into the circle, not waiting for it to settle. You also have to immediately change directions once the shot breaks. This is much like what they call a reverse transition in steel challenge where you come onto a plate and change directions as you break the shot. If you'll notice, the draw and the transitions are about the same speed as the draw and splits in the first string. This is essential if you want to pass the second string of fire. The third string of fire, one reload one on the outer circles, is all about consistency and not making mistakes. There's no time to waste, but you don't have to be blindingly fast either. What you have to be is consistent. If you mess up your grip on the draw, or if you fumble the reload, it will be very difficult to pass this string of fire. This is a good example of that, as I did miss my grip on the draw, and I almost ran out of time shooting the string of fire. 343. The fourth string of fire, which is one round strong hand only to an outer circle, one round weak hand only to the other outer circle, is for most people by far the hardest of the four. The key points here are a good index strong hand only from the draw, and then a rapid and reliable transition to the support hand, followed by a good index on the support hand for your second shot. It's also important on this string to take care with your trigger management, since you don't have your support hand to mitigate any push into the pistol. Okay, so while we're showing the hits on that run, just for accountability's sake, let's talk about shooting this from concealment. In my opinion, if you have a sufficiently developed AIWB draw, it is much easier to pass three of the four strings from concealment than from duty gear. The only string that kind of pushes you on the edge is the one reload one, just because your reloads are slowed so significantly by the cover garment. But if you watch me run this from AIWB, you'll see that my times on the other three strings are not much different than from duty gear. But I give you an extra quarter of a second for each draw and each reload from concealment. So shooting it this way, if you put in the work, really does stack the odds in your favor. On this string here, you can see where I got a really solid grip on the draw, which enabled me to split faster and still keep the rounds within the circle. The next tip I want to talk about is the make ready. I give you a make ready for each of the four individual strings. Take advantage of that, go ahead and get a sight picture, get one last mental rehearsal in, and calm yourself before the buzzer goes off. Another key point, kind of in the same vein, is the fact that I allow one mulligan per string for safety reasons, as long as a round has not been fired. So if you get caught up on your cover garment, or if you're shooting from duty gear and you get a bad grip and it feels unsafe, Go ahead and call the mulligan. After a really solid first string, I was a little disappointed with this one. It was a bit on the slow side. But if you notice, 
both of these strings are within the part-time for duty gear, not just the part-time for concealment. I give an extra quarter of a second for concealment. This third string of fire is what I believe to be the most difficult one shooting from concealment. The One Reload 1 is significantly more challenging because of the cover garment. My time on this string reflects the difficulty. Because you get a quarter of a second for both the draw and the reload, I allow you up to 3.95 on this string. If you notice, I'm at 3.74. This next string of fire, I fumbled the transition from strong hand only to weak hand only, and it cost me a fair amount of time. But thanks to the extra quarter second for concealment, I was still able to pull it off. Okay, now we'll check out the hits on this run, once again for accountability's sake. You can download the target off my website, graybeardactual.com. Go ahead and practice, come to a class, shoot it in front of me, and I'll give you a patch. I hope to see you all on the range soon.